Hey everyone, so your assignment for today is to do a double bubble map for carbohydrates and proteins. And um, this is just a way to compare them and contrast them. I'm sure you guys have done these before. You may have done these, you may have done a Venn diagram. This is just another way to compare and contrast two items. Um, so the basic structure looks like this with the two big bubbles in the middle being your main topics and the things around the outside being the ones that only apply to the these ones on the right and these ones over here only apply to the one on the left and then these in the center apply to both of them. Here's an example if you compare football and baseball. They are both team sports. They both have um, a ball to play and they both have offense and defense and then around the outside here this is the stuff that is specific to football and over here this is the stuff that is specific to baseball so what we're going to do is we're going to create one of these for proteins and carbohydrates so to do that you're going to be utilizing some of the drawing tools so you want to be on the home tab up here at the top so if you're on anything else make sure you're at the home tab so that you can see the drawing tools and you're going to be doing the circles and the lines an awful lot. So basically the circles, you want to create some circles in the middle. These are going to be your big main ideas. You can make them any size you want. You can make them any color you want, um, uh, however you want to do it. And then you can, what I just did there was I clicked on it. I hit control copy, control C, control V to copy and paste. You can also do this I suppose copy and paste with the right click um, however you want to do it I know you all know how to do that um, and then to change these if you wanted to change that see how these are all grayed out and I click on it it pops up that's so that I can change the color of them if I wanted to I can make them just clear I can, or um, with no fill um, I can I can change it however I want now in order to start typing in here I really just have to click on it like double click on it and it gets the cursor in there and I just start typing so you don't have to put in a separate uh, text box in there you just start typing right into the shape okay so this would be um, proteins in this one I'm gonna double click carbohydrates okay and um, you can change the th uh, size of the words by double clicking again um, change it so that it fits or you can also change the just size of the circle to fit your needs whatever you want to do okay now you want to do circles go around the outside so again you're gonna make these that are a little bit smaller and um, you can just go ahead and put a whole bunch of them out there so um, that they're there for when you need them when you think of things and you're going to want to make sure you have some in the center for the com things that compare and you notice when you're pulling these you see these red lines that are appearing these are to help you uh, line things up I know a lot of you are perfectionist like I am and so see how if I, I move it until I get the ones on both sides that means they're perfectly lined up top to bottom if I go over here now that means it's perfectly lined up um, side to side um, you can also grab a whole bunch if you wanted to highlight them all that was just simply click drag the box to encompass them all they're all selected if you click arrange and you can align them to the center that lined them all up and so you mean you might want to do that for the ones in the middle or however you want to do it okay that's just for some of you who want them to have them perfectly lined up you don't have to though because um, it doesn't matter um, so you can choose how you want to do it you can make these different colors um, you know it's uh, it's up to you so the things that are going to be the similar you're going to put in in these center um, ones and you're going to put lines to the things that apply to so the ones in the middle they're going to have lines to the carbohydrates and they are also going to and notice here too how it puts these little circles there and then when you get closer to proteins it does the same thing it's just a way to allow it to line it up so it makes it really easy for you same thing here this one is only going to apply to proteins um, you have to click the line though every time which is kind of annoying but 
but that's okay. So click here, go here, maybe put it with the line. So you get the idea, but you're basically kind of moving this stuff around. And the ones in the middle then are going to be connected to both. The ones that are only connected to the proteins are, are the things that only apply to proteins. Things that are only connected to carbohydrates are the things that only apply. Um, and then what I would like you to do um, before you turn it in is to move your slide all the way up at the top. Um, so that I don't have to scroll down. So when it goes into my grader, I, I'm just going to see this top one. Okay, so make sure that one's at the top. And uh, so I hope that helps. So I'm looking forward to seeing your bubble maps.